I think for all of us, I mean, it, every, everyone on that project, right? And it's, it's years of our lives that we put into that. Uh, it, it wouldn't have been there without that sort of sense of exploration and what it means to sort of even at some level be a human being and want to like push the boundaries uh, to, to, you know, the same reason in some ways that we go to the top of Mount Everest and everything else. It's just because it's there and there's a challenge there. Um, you know, I'm not a, I don't have a science background and I, I mean, I love the science and actually I think there's all this really cool science that's coming out and I'm getting more and more excited about it. But as an engineer, it was just like, whoa. Why, you know, what makes this so difficult and how can I be a part of something that certainly I couldn't do on my own. Um, you know, we estimated it takes 5,000 man years to build a Curiosity rover. So that I mean, that would just be me working for the next 5,000 years of my life and I would still build <laughs> one Curiosity. Um, so in that sense, and I, and I, and I you know, the, the, the moment we landed, of course, and it became so much more than that, it wasn't just about the fact that we landed a rover on Mars, but it was also about the you know, the friendships and all the hard work and everything else. And, and that all came together uh, in that moment. And I, you know, I'm excited that there are people who watched that and were, you know, excited about space. And I think there's going to be a whole generation of people who are like, yeah, the reason I'm here today, and not just for space, but just in engineering and sciences and all the other fields that I think are really important today. Um, space may be kind of a, a beacon in some ways that it's, it's very inspirational, but there's so many challenges that we have. Uh, that require those kinds of, of, of you know, minds that, uh, that hopefully we can inspire.